Hello there, Di here. This is the fourth and final in the making a, a cereal box journal. And I'm just showing here how I made the um, attachments for the spine. Put a grommet in the top, passed seam binding and a jump ring through, and threaded the seam binding over a beaded sp uh, spacer. And that becomes in a book, two bookmarks for inside the journal. So you can see where your next page is, where you're working. On the back, I've attached a lobster clasp, um, a jump ring, a small black fishing swivel, and another jump ring onto a, a toggle ring from a, a necklace fastening. I find these make nice, quite decorative, decorative and large enough rings to be able to put some two or three of the jump rings on for your charms to hang. I use fishing swivels quite a bit in making my charms. If you go through the the uh, sale bin at your local fishing store you, or tackle store, you'll often find little packets of absolutely tiny swivels. Um, I've found black ones, brass ones and mm, some sort of silver metal that work really well. Stop things getting tangled up. Here I'm just composing a couple of the... Um, the short dangles on and I've got another lengthier piece of chain that I've divided up with another jump ring and a swivel and another jump ring and putting that onto the toggle to form the basis of the charm. We Scallops are quite a delicacy of the state. Curried scallops are a renowned feast for lucky few little blackbird and a little heart charm that says live life finally a little slender key just attaching those this section I'm just showing how I attach um, used plastic containers that come with various products. When I've got something like a map or a CD, I just go through my little collection of them. I tend to save ones that I think are a suitable size, ones that have got a decent flange around the outside. This little one is approximately the right width, though it's a bit short, but you can see it's got that um, hole punched through uh, where it hangs in the store prior to purchase. So unless you're going to map uh, mat over it, it's not ideal. This taller one is a better, a better width, it fits almost perfectly. The flange on the hinge side was a little narrow, as you can see just there, but with the quarter inch red sticky tape, um, it, it adheres anything and is very robust, so that's the one I went with. I cut it off at what I thought was a good height, and here you can see I'm just trialing it in the journal but in it impacts on the the grommet and the seam binding so I took another half inch or so off it and here you can see I'm just I haven't stuck it down yet but I'm just um, placing the um, pamphlets the wine route maps and information and a little local Hobart um, information brochure and they all fit very snugly within. Here we go. I haven't shown any of the other little bits and pieces because they were... I'll just describe them as we look through. This is it, practically done. I'm going to have to replace the seam binding. I've nearly worn it out already. As I said, five signatures and I'll put some sort of a little um, add-on in the front page just telling them what it is and what it's for when they receive it. Inside the front of each of the signatures, I've added a pocket and a photograph, just a local photograph that we've taken of, of, of things as about the state. Um, and I've added some words from Kaisercraft pages here and there, a few little cutouts, um, the paper clips, a little bit of washi tape there on the map highlighting a a scenic point 
just flicking through. There's an, an envelope as a, a tuck window with a bit of washi tape at the bottom of it. I've backed all of the um, journaling cards with some file cards. I just glued them to the file cards and then cut them out. It makes them very sturdy and I've got a pile of them in my folder. Now here's the dangly bits in the center of the signatures that I was talking about. Ephemera's Vintage Garden showed one where she had dangly hearts and it looked absolutely charming. So I've used images from the state. There's a leafy sea dragon and a, an Aboriginal artifact photograph and each of the signatures has got these um, in the centers just as a point of interest. Sorry about the focus there, it's a bit off. Lovely coffee stain paper throughout. The occasional, I think there's one or one map page in each, double map page in each signature. There's another one of the canvas printed photographs of James I put in. I'll talk about that in a minute. There's Tim's bus photos. He, he and his family had buses for many years. I wanted that included. There's an envelope there. I'll be putting some little treasures and vouchers and bits and pieces between now and Christmas into those to make it more interesting as they go about the state. Hopefully they'll have some places to go and visit as they trundle around. There's a little another little journey card with a file folder on the back, file page on the back. That little leaf is another of the canvas prints and that's just a little coffee paper insert in the envelope in the middle of that um, signature. That's the only one that's got an envelope. There's a camera and a, a, a very old tourist poster, I think about the 20s, 1920s. Some more in there. The canvas, uh, that's an embossed wooden arrow. The little canvas photos that you've seen several of so far. I'll put the link below. That was using freezer paper and printing it onto calico. And I thought it was a neat little trick and I wanted to use those. Fortunately, I'd use photos of James to um, play with. And so I've used them in the journal. Lovely photo of Bruni Island there. My favourite place in the world. Just flicking through, you can see it's all much the same. I'm just looking for the centre to show you the denglies. There we've got a, an albatross and a, an Aboriginal shell necklace. This page uh, shows a beach, ende endemic beach. There's on another envelope in there and another canvas photograph. I'll put the link below to the canvas photographs. It was quite fascinating uh, using the freezer paper to stabilize the the calico. Another envelope and journaling page, and a lovely photo of the coastline down the peninsula. Another one of my inky handprints, and that's just about it. Oh, this pocket um, I'm about to show you is I put in. I had a lovely print of a um, blue gum which is our state's floral emblem. There we've got a masked owl, a tattoo image and a fish from Gould's Book of Fish. And in this pocket which I put placards in the side to give it some dimension there's a, um, a packet of more paper clips and clips and this envelope is a first day cover. I cleaned out the stamp box and found all sorts of lovely envelopes. So I put James's copy in there and the little um, other white envelope has got um, stickers so if they have anything they want to adhere down into the book as they go around uh, they can use the stickers to do so and there's a little plastic pocket well adhered with sticky strip it's not going anywhere the wine roots is you know it's always important to be able to find the next glass of wine so that's it that's it done with the rush Hope you've enjoyed it. It's fairly full. As I say, I'm going to replace that seam binding because I've worn it out with all the opening and closing. Um, but it's lovely to have it finished, ready for Christmas and getting all excited for their visit. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Bye now.